Friday Night Lights is brought to you by Isabella Bank. Welcome back to part three of this edition of Friday Night Lights. It's time to find out which play was crowned our WNEM Play of the Night. Friday Night Lights Play of the Night is brought to you by Hurley Medical Center. Let's go back to the Ugly versus Harbor Beach game. The Pirates' Caden Buckholds with a pump fake that launches it deep downfield. The perfect connection to Benson. Harper cuts back and then avoids another defender before being tackled at the goal line. Buckholds would then punch it in the next play. But what I love in this play, guys, the pump fake to the screen and then a perfect spiral downfield. See, that's great and all that. And like I said, he heaved it downfield, but I can't. I can't get over the yards after catch, oh, cutting like back it. from the inside, and then he was inches away. If that was a touchdown, that might be one of the best plays Harbor Beach has had in recent memory. It's still an outstanding play, and it deserves to be play of the night, but outstanding work after the grab. Cole, you were at that game. Pretty electric atmosphere, I heard. Oh, it was very, all that crowd went, student section went wild for Harbor Beach. And look at that right there. The way he kept his feet in bounds right there, because literally he was about to fall over. Again, great moves, cutting back out again, and just so close, just on the goal line, but not scoring. Wow. But like you mentioned again, that pump fake was the key right there to getting him wide open and getting that big gain. What a play. Congratulations to them. And now looking ahead to week five, we have three game of the week finalists, Mount Pleasant at Bay City Western, Standish Sterling at Millington, and Chesting at Montrose. And fans... You are the ones that get to decide this. Bowls are available now on our website, WNEM.com, and will be open until Monday at noon. We will announce the winner during Monday's 5 p.m. broadcast. Austin, what do you like there? Without thinking too much about it, I'm going to go Sterling, Sandy Sterling, Millington. That's going to be my vote. I want to see what the, what the viewers choose, but that's what I got. All right, Cole? I actually agree with you. I do like the Stanley Australian Millington game, but Mount Pleasant Bay City Western could be a very entertaining game as well, too. So that's one to keep an eye on as well. For sure. Three good matchups. So we look forward to seeing who you vote for. And one last.